Hi, it's author Ellie Alexander. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that you're reading a ton right now. This week on My Favorite Reads, I'm gonna share, as promised, some of my favorite British mysteries. So, stay tuned. We chatted about cozies last time. What are they and why you should read them? And I shared that my love for the cozy began in middle and my high school years when I discovered British cozies. One summer when I was 13 or 14, I read all of Agatha Christie's books and I was hooked. Ever since, if it takes place in an English countryside or a sweet little seaside village, count me in. So today I'm going to go over five of my favorite British mysteries in the style of the great dame Agatha Christie, whether in setting or tone. Side note, there are so many amazing modern mysteries set in England, anything by Kate Atkinson comes to mind, so I'll have to share some of those with you in a future episode. But for the moment, let's channel our inner Miss Marples, Tommy and Tuppence, and of course, Hugh Poirot, as we go into my Ode to Agatha reading list. Number one, where better to start than M.C. Beaton's Agatha Raisin series? This series is set in the Cotswolds. It's not historical. It's set in modern day and follows PR maven turned sleuth Agatha Raisin. Nod to the original Agatha is intended. She leaves the big city behind for the charm of village life. Of course, what she doesn't leave behind is her big city attitude, her high heels, or her lipstick. I have read this series in its entirety, and I like to describe Agatha as the sleuth you love to hate. She's completely self-centered, obsessed with her appearance. However, her heart is in the right place. She wants to be able to find a way to be part of the community and to embrace the local fets and garden lunches. She doesn't always succeed, but she nearly dies trying. This series has also been made into a fabulous TV show on Acorn. The show deviates a bit from my vision of Agatha, but it does not distract from my enjoyment. Plus, it's a beautiful, lush look at the Cotswolds. I highly recommend both. Number two, next up we have Elizabeth Peters' Amelia Peabody series. I love everything about this series. It reminds me a bit of Agatha Christie's Poirot in that Amelia is always off on dangerous adventures, much like that Belgian detective, especially from one of my all-time favorite reads by Agatha, Death on the Nile. This series is set in the early 1900s and follows Amelia as she's off excavating ruins in Egypt and trying to outsmart killers. She's like the female version of Indiana Jones and a heroine you want to root for. If you're looking for foreign travel from the comfort of your couch right now, this is the series for you. Number three is the Kate Shackleton series by Frances Brody. I know that I have talked about this series before, but I absolutely love it. And no Ode to Agatha Christie book list would be complete without this wartime series. First of all, I mean, look at this cover. Don't you wanna pop back into the English countryside post-World War I and have a nice little hot cuppa with Kate? Frances does Agatha proud with her attention to historical detail. I always feel like I'm a bit shell-shocked, just like Kate, when you read this series. You expect to hear a bomber flying overhead and you're always ready to duck. I also enjoy that Kate is spunky and striking out building her own career after her husband has disappeared in the war. There's always this intriguing, lingering wonder whether he's actually dead, which also lends extra suspense and keeps me wanting more. Number four, sticking with the wartime theme, we have Corolla Dunn's Daisy Dalrymple series. It hits all of those notes of a long forgotten era. Daisy also strikes out on her own to earn a living writing, and of course, just happens to stumble upon murder. This series makes me want to don the 1920s fashion, shake up a cocktail, and take a ride in a jaunty car. Dunn also captures the manor house vibe of Agatha Christie. I can imagine an eclectic cast of wealthy characters stuck together alone with the ever-observant eye of Daisy, just like Miss Marple or Hercule Perrault before her. Number five, last up, we have the Miss Jeffrey series by Emily Brightwell. 
This is a not another long running series, yay! And if you're a fan of Downton Abbey or Upstairs Downstairs, you will love Miss Jeffries. She's the housekeeper for Inspector Witherspoon of Scotland Yard, and she and the rest of her below stairs staff inevitably solve the case before the oh so kind inspector. You'll root for her and the rest of her highly capable staff who scurry off to the fishmonger and the local pub to get the real story. My favorite scenes are always when Miss Jeffries heats up a plate of dinner for the inspector and sits down to have a stiff drink with him to subtly plant some suggestions in his head. Agatha would be proud. Okay, so those are five of my Ode to Agatha Mysteries. Have you read any of these? Do you have other favorites? Share them in the comments. And as always, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified when I share new videos. Happy reading.